Good morning po, a blessed day. Welcome po sa ating daily devotional. Excited na po ba kayo? Ilang araw na lang, Christmas na. Ayan, marami na namang gifts. And mga pagkain, ang pagsasaluhan natin. Pero more than the excitement of those things, uh, I hope na uh, mapuno tayo and ma-receive ng bawat isa, ma-experience ng bawat isa yung great joy, yung greatest gift. Greatest gift. At yun yung ating Panginoong Jesus. Yung greatest gift natin and, and, and ang ating greatest joy. Ayan po. And now, let's start this day with no doubt. So, ayan po yung title ng ating pag-usapan ngayon, no doubt. Wala nang pagdududa. So, before po, ang lahat, uh, let me ask you this question. How would your life change if you couldn't talk for nine months? Paano ba magbabago ang iyong buhay? Kapag hindi ka makapagsalita ng uh, siyam na buwan. So, di ba, we express our thoughts through speaking, talking sa ibang tao. And pwede din naman nating uh, gawin yun kahit hindi tayo nagsasalita through gestures or yun, yung action natin. Pero mahirap i-ma-understand gaya ng mga, gaya ng sa mute. Pero uh, it's a different thing kapag uh, nakakapagsalita ka tapos bigla ka na lang hindi nakapagsalita and for 9 months pa. So mamaya uh, may kwento about related this uh, about this question. Then now um uh, let's share a time when uh, you doubted God. So ako po sa akin, 'di ba, usually um we experience difficulties in life and we tend to worry. Ako personally ah uh, I tend to worry so much sa mga nangyayari. Pero ayun, if consider yung um, I once uh, lose hope sa circumstances ng family ko, like, ganun pa rin. Uh, yeah, suffering is real. And parang iniisip ko na kailan kaya uh, makakaahon yung family ko, ganun. And, Gabi na pala yung pag-hold ko sa mga bagay na uncertain and yeah, riches in this world. So anyways, bago pa lumalim and lumawak and humaba ang aking story, uh, you can also share uh, your story sa time na nakap- nag-doubt ka sa Panginoon. And uh, today, let's see and let's um, learn from this story na no doubt na dapat. So, Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is uh, well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day this happens. Because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. So, makikita po natin ito sa Luke chapter 1, verse 18 to 20. Ayan po. And shortly before Mary became pregnant with Jesus, bago nagbunti si Mary kay Jesus, may isang angel, Angel Gabriel, appeared to a righteous man na ang pangalan ay Zechariah. So, ayan. And then, sabi ng angel kay Zechariah that he and his wife would soon uh, have a son who would grow up to be John the Baptist. Ayan. Yun, sinabi ng angel kay Zechariah na magkakaanak sila ng uh, lalaki na anak. And Zechariah, even though he was believer and loved God, responded with, Are you sure? We're pretty old. So, yun yung naging respond, response ni, ano, ni Zikaraya. Kahit na um, nananampalataya siya sa Panginoon and nangmamahal siya, may, makikita natin yung doubt niya kasi nga, matanda na sila. And sabi ng angel na magkakaanak daw sila. So, many, if not most people, would have some doubts too in that situation. Pero hindi lahat ay uh, 
hindi naman lahat ay patatamkinikin or hindi na, hindi nakapagsalita or hindi makakapagsalita dahil lang sa doubt. Pero yun yung nangyari kay Zechariah. Hindi siya nakapagsalita for nine months. The angel Gabriel said to him, You will not be able to speak until you until your son is born. Ayan. So, ikaw ba kapatid? Paano ka tutugon sa balita na ganong, ng ganong himala kung ikaw ay si Zikaraya, kung nasa shoes ka ni Zikaraya? Like, matanda na sila, di ba? Kung matanda ka na, and pareho kayo ng asawa mo na matanda na, at sinabi ng angel Gabriel na magkakaanak sila. Ayan. So, paano ka ngayon? Sa ngayon, paano ka tutugon? sa revelation na iyong narinig sa Biblia or sa or biblical teaching. Ayan, how would you respond? So, it is normal to doubt. But, we need to bring those doubts to God. So, kapag namamablema ka na, wala ka ng pera, and nawawalan ka na ng pag-asa, iniisip na, hindi ko na kaya, nakakasawa na, nakakapagod na, o ano mang Uh, hinanain mo sa buhay. Ayan, ilapit mo yan, kapatid, sa Panginoon. So, sinulat nga ni James in James 1 verse 6 that the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. So, yung mga nag-alinlang daw, uh, may pagdududa pa, ay parang alon na iniihip lang ng hangin. So, Huwag tayong maging ganun na iniihip-ihip lang dahil lang sa mga problema. So, lapit tayo kay Lord. And we must work to have complete faith that God will do what He says He will do. Kasi nga ang Panginoon is way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Ayan. So, ang Panginoon po ay magpo-provide and magbibigay ng ating mga pangangailangan and siya po ay faithful sa kanyang mga pangako. So, just read the Bible, know and learn what God is saying and kung ano yung promise niya and pray to God. So, ngayon po, let's pray. Ayan. Dear God, uh, please, um, Lord, forgive us when we doubt and Uh, na-forget po namin kung sino ka sa buhay namin. Please make our faith stronger kahit na po sa mga uh, makanasan man namin ang mga problema and mga malalaking hamon sa buhay. Or make our faith stronger. Amen. Ayan. So, no doubt na po tayo for our hope is sure in Jesus. Ayan, have a blessed day po.